Hello everyone, today I'm doing with Deku is an Assassin Part uh, 1 And uh, this is a collaboration with Chrono GP What Ifs If you don't know who he is, he's a bigger channel than me But uh, we've been working on this What If for uh, a while and uh and uh I'm gonna have set my own abandoned series. Like the original was to have Deku abandoned but like have a collab, but uh we eventually evolved that idea into this one. So we're, I'm going to start it off and he's gonna continue it and it's gonna be in the playlist. And if you didn't see already the if you check the playlist, you should be able to see the uh, videos of each um, of each one of mine's, like, and how I have them set up. All right, so let's get into the what if. So Deku is born into an assassin family, like hired assassin family, and. Uh, they're pretty rich, but no one knows that they're the assassins. Mainly because when people are over, their suits, like, it's not suits, it's actually a quirk. But they have their quirk turned off and all. And like, they still have some low abilities of theirs, but not, uh, a lot, I guess. So anyways, Deku is going to be the strongest other than his grandfather. And you'll see what the story has to tell. So now Deku, he's born. And, all, and his family, like, they treat, it's kind of like the Todoroki family. They treat uh, all the uh, other kids because they're gonna have like they kind of have like a lot of kids that are assassins and all. They're gonna treat all the kids really nice, but they're gonna treat Deku horribly because of the training, kind of like what Todoroki has. And uh, Deku then, yeah. So like he's going through grueling training like he's a master at weapons already from his na like his quirk but they train him to be even without his quirk he's still amazing shooter and like basically able to uh like 100% accuracy with a pistol without any sights on it any special ones anyway like that that's how good of an assassin he is but anyways Deku is now yeah I'm going to say that his first mission is when he's uh, 12 and uh, his first mission is to kill someone who owes this specific person money and since he is, he like, you're going to see what I mean by he slowly gets morals over time. So, he went to the uh, household and uh, he sees that it's like, like this is a household of a construction company. He's like, huh. And so he knocks on the door and they open it, it's like, who are you? Oh, I was sent to collect your debt. And uh, it's like, we, we don't have the money. Well, he goes, come in before he says, I need to collect your debt. And then when they sit down, he, he goes, I need to collect your debt. And he goes, it's like, hold on. We don't have enough money right now. It's like, please, we just need the. We can earn the money back. We promise. It's like, 
they're still on guard because they know how quirks are can make people completely different from others. And Uraraka comes in. She's like 12 and all too. And she sees Deku and is like, who's this, who's this kid? It's like, he doesn't tell his name. Like, he's also wearing a mask so that no one can tell who he is. But, he goes, so you're the, uh, so, y so you're the daughter. And then he goes, well, sorry, miss and mister, but I'm going to have to do this. And then his nanosuit goes on. His nanosuit goes on, and, like, he also has kind of, like, a teleportation, but only for, like, weapons. They also have infinite ammo. And he pulls out a silenced pistol and pulls the trigger twice, killing them both. And then he knocks out Uraraka. Because, yeah. And, uh... Deku now goes back to the base. No one heard the gunshot. And he also changed back. And, yeah, he's super speeded. Like... Yeah, he ran back to his base. Or whatever. I don't know. Yeah, he goes back to the house. And they go, is the job done? And he goes, yes. And, uh... The Grandmaster says, okay. Your next mission will be tomorrow. And, uh... Yeah, so... He goes to bed. And, like... All his family, like his brother and sisters, like like him, but he doesn't like anyone, cause he only has hatred for the family, and to be diagnosed with them, or like compared to them, kind of makes him angry. And uh, so yeah, it's tomorrow. It's the, it's the next day, and he goes, okay, I need you to kill this kid, and he goes, what? Like, he's confused as all hell, because he didn't know that being in this family, you'd have to kill kids. Like, he's, he's concerned about it now, and he shows, like, a picture of the kid. I don't know what the kid looks like. And, uh, he's confused to why he has to kill the kid. And he goes, because we were hired to, so we just kill him. It's like, okay. The reasoning behind he had to kill a kid is that, uh, is that, uh, the gang lead, like, it's a gang fight war or whatever. And they say that this kid will end it. And so he goes over in his nano suit. He breaks down the door and starts like knocking out people because that's what he does. And uh, he's also like, turning on his cloak, so he's just knocking out people like that. And when he gets to the kid, he just pulls out a gun and shoots it again. And then he disappears. Like, no one saw him. There were cameras there. Like, once he killed the kid, he kind of got teleported home. And, uh... Deku... Doesn't like what he's done. At all. And it's like... You also have another mission today. It's like, oh god. And it's... And his mission is to like there's some good missions that are like good for the community and then there's bad missions that are bad for the community 
And so, this one's a good mission. And it goes, kill this, uh, kill this hero. He has committed many crimes, and, uh, the, and funny enough, a civilian has hired this hit. And this hit, like the people who hired him, was the Yayarosa family, because he said that he was going to do stuff to his daughter, and all. And he's like, oh, thank God. And so, he's wearing his mask and all. And he goes to Yayurosu household. And, like, he, uh, the Yayurosus go, okay, so you're the people that they, so you're the person that they sent? He goes, yeah. And one looks at him and goes, wait, aren't you the same age as me? I don't know. I don't care. I just want to get this over with. It's like, Okay. And right then, like, it's a group of heroes. And, uh, they, they come down because they heard, uh, about the, uh, what's it called? They heard that some rumors that they were selling to villains and they wanted to expose them or something. So these group of heroes, like, break into the house right then there while Deku's there. And,. All of a sudden, you just see the target's head just come off. And all the heroes are shocked by this because of speed. And Deku is now in his nano suit form. And not in his nano suit, but like he's just using his strength. And he just. He just looks at the He looks at the heroes and goes, Why are you here? And they go because uh we heard that they were selling products to uh villains to stop heroes and he goes, Mmm Who told you this? And then they point to the guy's head and he goes uh, it's a lie. It was, how do you know that? I was sent here to kill him for specific reasons. Like, I don't know. Child molestation. Rape. Other, uh, other accounts of bad things he's done, you know. And they're like, what? And he goes, yeah. If you guys knew each other... Well enough, you should have known that he is that kind of type of person. It's like, all the heroes just like back off. They're like, yeah, sorry about that. And Deku then just takes a head and puts it in a bag. Like it's a waterproof bag too. It's like it doesn't seep through. It's like, well... And uh, Deku just hides the body. Like, no, well, the heroes take the body, but Deku says, I'm also taking this head because a person like him doesn't deserve to be buried with a head. And uh, Deku and then goes home, and the Yayirozus kind of expect, didn't expect that a kid would be this dark. And, uh, Momo is very confused at why they even hired him. It's like, well, you see, that man decided that he was going to try to do something to you. And she's like, oh, okay. She tries to thank him, but he's already gone. Now, Deku... After he goes in there, he takes out the head and is like, Here you go. And just, like, throws it towards him. And... His grandfather wasn't expecting this. 
and like it hit him in the head. You usually when that happens, like they kind of laugh it off. Like uh, with the other children, they laughed it off. But with Deku, he throws the head back at him really hard, hitting hitting Deku in the head and knocking him out. And then they go increase, and they go and they increase his training by like way too much. Like, kind of like imagine like you know how like all imagine all the Todorokis, like their training combined with uh like combined times tw like times a hundred like that's his training. And this happens every day that he's assassinating too, so yeah. Eventually all for one sends them to assassinate All Might and Deku's heard of All Might. And he, he actually likes All Might and All Might changed his morals from listening to grandfather to actually trying to be good for once. And so Deku's like, I'm gonna literally purposely fail. I don't care if if uh, I'm gonna get beaten or anything. I'm gonna fail. And he's thinking this, and no one can read his mind either. Cause that's also part of his quirk, along with uh, the fact that no one in there has a re mind reading quirk. And, uh, so, yeah, he's assigned that, and, uh, Deku's out there, and, uh, All Might's actually at UA this early year, and, uh, so, yeah, all the arms are breached, and, like, All Might gets out, and is like, stop there, you villain, and it's like, hey, All Might. I'm just gonna need this to be a fake battle. I don't know if anyone's watching or anything, but I came here to assassinate you. It's like, what? I don't know why I'm here to assassinate the number one hero. And I don't care. Just beat me to a bloody pope so that when I go back there, I could say that you won. And don't show this to any of the press. It's like, okay. Like, I was there, too. Like, they start beating up on Deku, you know? And I'm it's like, why would he do that if he was sent here to assassinate me? And now Deku, you know, he's now kind of running away. He has broken arms so that he can't fight anymore. So, yeah, he just runs back. And he's like, how'd the mission go? And he goes, failure couldn't kill him too strong and then he actually passes out because of the damage and uh, so he's doing all his assassinations he's saved like most of class 1a and uh, Deku still hates his parents at all but he eventually Alright, he's 14 now, and, like, his training's been super tough ever since, like, he let himself get beaten up by All Might. So, now, there you go, alright. Now it's your job to, uh, what's it called? It's now your job to, uh, go to this place. It's like, uh... It's like, all right, and once he goes there, like, and they go like, listen to these people, Shiraki, Karagiri, and this guy named All for One, and uh, they goes like, okay. Also, All for One can't steal his quirk. The reason is, if he were to, if it were to like it, it doesn't do well with other quirks. It's so like if you try to copy it or anything, it will hurt you. And like, 
it just completely destroys your system. Like, you have to be made for it. And the only way that you're able to be made is if you already had the quirk. Like, if the quirk's actually yours. So, Old Foran knows this because he's tried to steal a quir their quirk before, and he almost died after before he gave it back to him. And so, he knows not to try to steal those quirks. Because, yeah. It's always better to have them be, like, hired. So... Deku, like this is the base suit, and then this is the, uh, this is the, alright, like, oops, like this is the, uh, like his suit has different configurations, this one gives him the ability, uh, to kind of like do um what's it called a little bit of telekinesis but it's more or less like uh he's really good like if he he can pull out like a sword destroyer or whatever like a uh, an extremely strong sword and his nano suit already gives him the ability, but this sword can only be summoned by this armor. And uh, this one is his better suit. He doesn't use this one because it kind of puts a little strength on his body. But yeah. So, Deku's now at the USJ. And he's going in, and Deku is now, what's it called? Yeah, so he, he sees that, like, he's going in how he looked before, just with a mask. And Shigaraki's like, who's this guy? And Kiryu goes, he's the assassin that all for one hired. It's like, it doesn't look like it. He doesn't look strong at all. And, and Kiri Yuri, because. Well, no. No. He heard. Uh, Deku heard this and he goes, Shrimp, alright, little shrimp, you wanna fight? And. Shiraki's like, What you call me? And he goes, Yeah, I said you're a shrimp. You don't look like you're strong enough to fight me. And when Shigaraki charges at him, Kiryu's like, stop you two. And Deku just sidesteps Shigaraki. Shigaraki's getting angered, but because, like, you know, he's still his baby form. And he's keep on trying to attack, but then Deku just pulls out a gun right in front of Shigaraki's face. It's like... Yeah, take a step. I don't care if I'm disobeying orders. I'm gonna kill you. And Shigaraki's kind of surprised because, like, he thought that he always get his way or whatever. And then he's seeing this person who absolutely does not give two shits about him or anything. He just puts the gun away. And it's like, alright, let's get this started. And then they start going... And Deku is uh, there at the front lines or whatever. Like he's at the back with Shigaraki and Kiryuri. And they're like, oh cool, they have fake villains too. And Momo and Uraraka notice that the, that the guy for Uraraka, the guy that killed her parents. And for Momo, the, uh, the guy who saved her from, uh, that act, uh, right there, it's like, they're both kind of shocked. And, uh, like, they say something like, 
why why is he doing it there? And like Momo and Uraka look at each other like, how do you know him? He goes Uraka goes, he killed uh my parents because of a debt issue. And Momo goes, he killed a pet he killed someone who was trying to do stuff to me. You know. And the guy's like for the other people, it was kind of hard to remember, but like, Sue was like, yeah, he saved me from uh, being killed. So, and Deku sees everyone. He's like, I saved all those people once or twice before. And he's like, yeah, no. And like, they do the same thing as in canon. But when, uh, like they're getting attacked by villains on the boat, Deku cloaks and gets those two out of there. And Deku just starts running around. And he, uh, what's it called? And Deku is like, oh yeah, he he saves everyone, and uh, what's it called? Shit. So yeah, and then when All Might comes in, he sees the kid that he was forced to beat up. And he sees that all the students are like kind of like saved and all. And so he charges at the Nomu or whatever. And they go into a fight. And Deku planned for this to happen anyways. And uh Deku Deku, alright, so now, this night, he's planning on killing his whole entire family, because, as I said before, he doesn't like them, and he doesn't like their ways, so Deku immediately betrays Shigaraki, and puts a gun to his head, and says, Shigaraki, if you don't call off the Nomu, I'm going to kill you right here and right now, <laughs> and Shigaraki's like, what, what, it's like, yeah, I personally don't care about you or anything you do, but I'm not letting you do anything. Shigaraki yells, "No move!" Like, no move. Like, sees that Shigaraki's in trouble, and when he charges, Deku puts on the nano suit. Deku's nano suit comes on, like this mode. Yeah, this mode. Shigaraki's never seen this kind of quirk. He's heard of it. And he just sees that the whole suit is glowing like this red. And then he sees that, uh, Deku caught the Nomu's fist with one punch. Like, caught, yeah, caught the Nomu's fist with one hand. Well, not like he did it with like kind of like one finger, and like the Nomu is trying to attack him, but Deku's just blocking all of his attacks with his finger. And then this gives Kiryu enough time to get Shigaraki out of there. Him and Shigaraki out of there. Deku realizes this. He actually turns his gun into this and he just starts firing at the Nomu's brink killing it instantly and everyone's like so who are you like who are you and Deku goes well uh, my name will be in the news soon you'll see now we're gonna cut to the house and like 
the USJ attack where this weird cyborg guy, <laughs> yeah, that's all they're going to call him, uh, uh, helped out the heroes. And they were like, wait, he did what? Like, his family's confused. His whole entire family, because, you know, like, they thought of him as loyal. And they see that he didn't come home instantly or anything. It's like, did he get captured? Like, what happened? They'll find out sooner or later. So eventually, they hear the door open. And, like, the whole family is, like, excited to see him. It's like, you're back. Like, what happened? And Deku instantly just goes on the nano suit and starts ki and immediately killed his mother and they're all like what and they start turning on their nano suits and, and Deku's just beating the living hell out of them and then his grandpa steps in and like there's also little kids there too and they also thought that Deku was loyal so they kind of looked up to him but Deku's not loyal and he hates them and he goes grandfather and he goes alright you old man and like they actually kind of loved him they were just like having to show the cold shoulder or whatever like that's what they were thinking like he thought that they knew they loved him and this was for his own good but no he hates him and he grabs his father's neck lifts him up and goes I'm gonna kill this whole entire family none of this family will last and he goes ha. the grandfather goes how could you betray us ah. easy you have no morals you have no moral code in existence and in order for somehow these people to stay loyal you treat them so kindly but you treated me like I was filth he's like come on we, you we can treat you better and goes yeah no not gonna happen and in fact because this is like part of the quirk he absorbs the whole entire uh, suit from his grandfather boosting his own my grandfather was like what it's like what you what it's like oh you didn't know that I could steal your quirk huh <laughs> could have done that the whole time but I'm not leaving you alive and he just snaps his neck no he just crushes his neck with his hand he also stole his mother's quirk no. and uh, he started he kills his father and steals his quirk but he doesn't kill his uh, brothers and sisters like, he also kills, like, his aunts and all that. Which, like, uh, what's it called? Which, uh, like, the cousins and all, they, they were conflict. Like, everyone, all the kids were conflicted. And Deku goes, I'm leaving you with all your powers. But if you try to come after me, I'll kill you. And with that, he uh, he takes some money and leaves. And that's where I'm leaving it off for the guy to, for Chrono GP What Ifs to continue. Bye bye.